Well, good morning. It's another day and it's another repair. Today we're working on a 2013 Winnebago Sightseer. And we're actually, we're, I'm down here at Kissimmee in the campground and a fellow camper was having issues where the dash air was work, wasn't working correctly. All he could get was defrost. Let me show you what's happening here. So no matter what you, you can see the air here blowing on, but on the dash, no matter what position you put this in, the defrost vents is that, that you get no air anywhere else at all. AC, defrost heat, nowhere. So we assume there's a vacuum problem. So let me show you what we did first. Let's go out front. All right, so the first thing I did, come here, we checked this, the vacuum bulb, this main vacuum line, that looked good. Then we worked our way over here. It was fairly obvious when we come to this little blue line, we noticed, hey, it's been chewed in too. And we got the other end Right, the other hand is right here. I'm gonna show you how we fix that. Hang on, let me get, let me get my parts. Okay, you can see the little short piece here. That's what it looked like. We got some little teeth mark on there, I believe. I think a mouse got a hold of it. So that's this little end we cut off to make it nice, nice clean connection. And then I went to my toolbox and dug around. I found a little piece of fuel line. We use, this is called the uh, Tigon fuel line. It's used on uh, weed eaters and chainsaws and that kind of stuff. It's a really high quality line. So I'm gonna use that to create a coupler. So I'm just gonna slide it up on there real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, there you go. I just split, split that line inside of that, made a nice coupler. So I thought, okay, perfect, it's fixed. So let's go inside and see what happens. So I'm just gonna tell you what happened because I already fixed it and I'm just kind of doing this back in reverse to show you how, how I solved the problem. Came in here, started it back up and it still didn't work. I said, what that gone? I said, well, if a mouse chewed one line, he probably chewed another one. So then we had the, the strategy of uh, getting this dog cover off. You know, each, each one of these is a little bit different. Now, this particular one for this 2013 Sightseer uh, Winnebago, you had a Phillips screw up front on both corners. Got that off. And then I couldn't find the crazy. I knew there had to be a hole here somewhere. So in order to figure that out, uh, I, I went under the wheel well and looked. And that's a, that's a good tip for you. If you're trying to get one of these covers off and you can't figure out where the hole is or where the mechanism is, where the mechanism is I'll try to slow down so uh looking under the wheel well i could see where the mechanism mechanism was located so i figured the hole had to be in here somewhere but it was still hard to locate so the way i was able to find it i just took a screwdriver just kept punching and punching around and i finally punched through so that might be a tip for you because this uh, i talked to the owner and said the first this is the first time the, the engine dog cover has been off or dog house cover let me see here oh there it's all right all right so I'm going to pull this out of the way and I'll show you what else I found. Okay, so I, I took the engine cover off and come up here and I found that line right there. That's the main line, the vacuum line that comes off the vacuum bulb, comes back to the engine. So I kind of followed it around. I seen the vacuum line come up this way. Followed, followed, followed. And sure enough, here's where I found another problem. His yeah, little teeth mark was right here on this piece. So I cut the bad spot out the same way. Got me a little piece of fuel line. Well, I can't do it with one hand very well, but you get the idea. Let me put that on there for you, and then we'll start this up. All right, so there we got it. So let's start it and see if everything works. Okay, so now we got defrost air. Now that's uh, out your feet. All right, so now we're on max air. We've got air coming up the top. It's no longer blowing up. That's the defrost. Defrost, back to air. Defrost, so anyway. Anyhow, that solved the problem. So maybe that'll help you out if you have any uh, weird problems. I do remember years ago, this, this may help you also, years ago I had a 24 foot class A, I think a 2001 model, had the 8.1 Vortec in it. And I remember it was very strange, you'd be driving down the road and with the, having the dash air on, the air blowing out the top vents, you was fine going on level ground. But as soon as you start going up a hill, the air would change, it would no longer blow out the top vents, it'd start blowing out at your feet. Because as I was going up a hill, the throttle plate would open, I'd start losing engine vacuum, and I had just enough of a pinhole, it would cause the damper to close. 
when this pop when the vacuum is supposed to ho hold it open, or vice versa. I can't remember exactly. But anyways, I kind of understood I was losing vacuum somewhere. And on my 8.1 Vortec, it was right behind the master cylinder where the um, vacuum line runs up to the big uh, vacuum bulb. It was had a sharp piece of metal where it'd sit there and rub for uh, over the years, and finally wore a little hole in it. And so, in case you ever have a weird symptom like that, where your um, your air changes as you go up a hill, look for a vacuum leak, because they could be anywhere. I, I got lucky and found that, and this one wasn't too hard to find. Anyway, hope you found that helpful for you. Have yourself a great day. We'll talk to you later. See you. Bye.